Well, on good day. My name is Joseph R2. Yes, R2, like the famous robot. I'm the vice president of service for Beta Sigma Upsilon chapter at the University of the District of Columbia. Phi Theta Kappa's honors study topic this year is how the world works global perspectives. Now, there's a lot of ways you can look at this. There is the literal way, which is the Earth rotates on its axis. And there's the cynical way, that the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and there's nothing we can do about it. There's the religious way, that there's a divine being that created the universe and guides our fate. This topic allows you to not only be imaginative, but to think outside the box. Now, an example of how the world works to me can be found in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., where I live. The Chesapeake Bay in D.C. in 1997 was so polluted that it was unsafe to swim in, let alone to eat from. The fish in the bay had lesions on them from toxins such as runoff and pollution such as plastic bags. Now nearly two decades later, the waters are crystal clear. The seafood is some of the best on the East Coast, and it's safe for people to play in and swim in the waters. Now, why the change? Teamwork. The people of the capital area came together. They passed laws to stop the pollution, to tax the plastic bags that were filling the rivers and streams, and they rallied to clear the waters. Now, this is an example of how the world works through teamwork, and it's through teamwork that the Chesapeake Bay was cleaned. Now, a global example of this is in the form of the United Nations created in the aftermath of World War II. The United Nations is made up of member states who came together to stop wars from devastating humanity. They work to this common goal, to this very day. Now these are only a couple of examples of how the world works. What's yours?